Hi, Gemini. How are you? If you're new, how welcome and Miss Michelle. And today we're going with your reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the roles or the energies could be inverted. And with this set, let's move forward, okay? So right now we have the star in the reverse for you or the stars in the reverse for you. We got the key in that reverse as well. We have the moon. A lot of reverses for you today, babe. We got the storm. Um, uh, we also got for you the bouquet. We got the mice. Um, we got the child. Ooh, we got the snake. And let's let's go. Let's go. Let's see what else. And we also happen to have the familiar at the reverse and the masculine at the reverse. So we definitely have a um, a lot of water, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We definitely have Aquarius energy. We got uh, focus on the moon, which is Pisces for me. Um, we also see Libra for you, and we have Aries and Sagittarius as well for as of right now. So. I do see as well that some of you could be going through some sort of difficulties. There's definitely some blockages in your energies. This could be cause for, for example, you thinking that you cannot get out of the situation. This could be, you know, other things as well. But I do see there's definitely blockages. Um, I feel like uh, some of you are, I do understand that it's difficult times. But it seems right here that the difficult times are letting you, like, it's like making you sink. You're not really using your intuition. You're not able to open up and seeing things a different light so there's a need for you to do a cleanse there's definitely definitely an energy that could be blocking you and the best thing for you to take away the blockages is to perhaps do like a cleanse on spiritual cleanse physical cleanse uh for example uh use palo santo or if you rather use sage to cleanse your home and do some sort of like limpias you know to remove any energy that could be causing your blockages as well as some of you could be overworking overworking yourself and having a lot of things going on there's a need for you to try to find time to rest and perhaps sleep better so you don't feel again blocked completely because there's a need of your energies to rest because i do see like a lot of you are not sleeping well or maybe not prioritizing your sleeping schedule as you should um also some of you could be living in a place that either or um recently got hit by like some sort of like storm or hurricane or so and others of you could have like get hit by a storm or some sort of like unexpected weather change that in like involves hurricane storms and rains and whatnot um they're telling you right here um to fix anything that needs to be fixed in the before um before um what is it called before um i will say the 19th something 9 19th that's the word i was looking for i don't know why i forgot the name and the numbers i'm i'm bilingual guys work with me but something about the 9 and the 19th but besides that if you don't want to take the numbers just don't take them but it tells me right here as well in the 8th as well to do some changes there's something that could be uh, has it like a little hole somewhere that you know in your home or so that you may need to fix otherwise what is going to go through it is going to be difficult to fix immediately also some of you could have a mice infection so if you have something in like a hole or something in your home again please close it as but uh fix it as much as you can or get it fixed as soon as possible because it could actually get you could actually have an inf an, inf an in a mice infestment infest infestion that's what you say anyways um they're also telling me right here some of you could be experiencing uh unexpected pregnancy um others of you if you know you don't desire to have kids or so you know just please you know do the necessary to you know help yourself to not get there if you don't want to others of you you're seeking for a baby a good news because fertility is here uh also telling me right here to be careful with um with your pregnancy and be careful with your kids this is like right here there's energies around that are not to be trusted also there's also besides that there's fake people around you so be mindful in how you express and what you share with these individuals i also see as well that some of you lost your cat some of you could have lost your pet like they could like you know walked out or so it does seem right here that you're gonna get them back 
um, they're telling me right here that you could be looking at the wrong direction um, it's giving me south 18th I don't know what that means um, and south 18 I don't know what that is for some of you There's a lot of Julian individual that need to be needs to be watched out uh, near kids. There's some an energy that happens to show up here in a park, and it's like they look like a very good dude. Uh, it does seem like Julian that's a kind of older energy, and it's like this person is like gives me the creeps. So watch out on that person. It's like nothing that's gonna be harm uh, physically harmful, but they're just weird, and just don't in engage in a conversation. If you feel icky, just walk away, allegedly. With the wheel right here, it does seem right here that things are actually going and they're going to get better. Um, I also see some of you are very talented by, with sewing. So it's something that you should consider if you haven't already to create a side hustle. If you have, it's just a confirmation that you did the right thing. Um, I do see as well that if you are in a relationship or interested in somebody, there's going to be a female that is going to show some interest in your person or in this person. And this person, which is either or your man or your person, does not have any interest in this person. And this female energy does not take rejection very well. And she's going to allegedly try to lie about it. So if you hear about anybody, oh, he may be cheating on you or so by this random female, don't buy it. Try to find information. What because else? Let's see what else. What else? Let's see what else. Some of you are maybe um, interested in, you know, magic. Um, maybe some of you could be starting in your journey of witchcraft or whatever. It's telling me right here, it's not everything what it seems like. And keep in mind that not everybody follows the same rules as you. There's multiple people who are in this realm of the um, witchcraft. And keep in mind that you don't want to mess with somebody who does not follow the same rules as you. So, um, so just be careful who you be, for example, hexing, manifesting, messing with. Because whoever is not telling you they're full practice could be more you know dangerous in the spiritual in a spiritual way that what you think so make sure to not play uh wizards of the way really plays because magic is real and not everybody follows the same rules keep that in mind and they don't have to that's the beauty of it also here others of you are breaking generational uh generational um i would say trauma you're doing your own thing you're setting yourself free you're healing i do feel like you are reconnecting with your true self some of you could have been rejected for your for a house that you wanted or an apartment that you wanted uh keep in mind that something better and bigger is coming and that's why that one did not work out um it does seem right here that others of you are maybe interested in reading tarot keep in mind that you cannot aim to be like some other tarot reader or saying oh i read it this way the other one does not read it she's not good enough everybody has intuition and everybody reads it their own way because it goes with their spiritual guides keep in mind that criticizing a tarot reader that you may not consider good you are criticizing the entity they're working with and you could actually bring some uh, spiritual karmic situation so just be respectful and also this goes with it you too if you read your cards your own way but you know you're accurate there's no need for you to change it in any way shape or form now keep in mind that some of you could be reading your cards and you're not pretty much cleaning them correctly or cleaning your environment correctly and there's a call out for hey you need to start cleaning better your energies and the energies of your home or whatever it is you do your cards because you don't want to attract uh, low vibration energies into your home right now it hasn't happened but they want to keep it that way now others of you are not maybe um this is multiple messages because i got multiple messages um some of you could have gotten a personal reading with somebody and you're not really taking it into consideration the things that you don't like keep in mind that tarot readings are going to tell you the things that you like and the things that you don't like and if you don't take in consideration the ones you don't like to so you are either or you know watch out for or you can change them or whatever this is you could actually bind yourself to commit the actions that you say you don't want or that they won't happen so the options that you have or the opportunity of having your cards read or so is for you to see what's going on the things that you like the things you don't like and that you can actually do better for any outcome that you may like better 
Um, finally, stop trying to be friends with somebody who hated you first. If somebody actually showed you who they were on the first time, that's who they are. Don't be trusting people who cannot be trusted. If somebody says that somebody talked about you with their presence, keep in mind that that person that told you that they were talking about you cannot be trusted either. So you have a lot of fake people around and it happens a lot whenever you're an empath or starting on your spiritual journey. You will attract low vibrational energy so they can stop you from growing and you know getting where you need to get. So there's a need for you to be more careful and ignore and walk away from people that don't deserve your time of day i do see that the sun leo energy good things are coming for you also i heard medusa for whatever reason for others of you but i do see things are getting better for you and you're gonna see the light and there's gonna be a new bringing uh, upcoming uh, new beginning and horizon very soon in every sense of the way um i do see as well that uh some of you could have been dealing with some legal situation it seems right here that things are actually looking better and looking good for you it does seem like you are going to be pleased with whatever um resolution it comes for or comes with um i do see as well that the balance the scales of your livelihood is going to be balanced too um I do feel like all of this will happen if you have your faith with Libra energy. I forgot to say that because it's hard to see or to believe on something that hasn't happened yet. So it depends on how much you believe in the universe and believe in possibilities. To finalize here, some of you are going to receive an important letter or an important message that's going to change everything, allowing you to end something and to begin something else. Others of you are telling me that if you are looking for the female of your of your dreams you're going to is going to be your divine feminine energy others of you could be the divine feminine energy in your char prince charming in their armor um is coming for you very soon as well somebody's coming very very soon um i do see number 29 number eight it's gonna be august 29 not necessarily this but something could happen in august august 29 that could be important for some of you and i do see um eight and eleven to be also relevant this could be also just plain numerology just take it the way you think it make more sense for you but i do see lily i don't know who lily is not lilith but lily and i do see as well that there's a soulmate um coming for you and you're gonna meet them very soon as well this could be your divine feminine energy or the or you could be a divine feminine energy as well um i do see some japanese inspired um art here so i do see that some of you could i don't know if japan is something important for you um i also see art and the art that i see is like a, it's like a sculpture that's like holding a rock i don't know why that is irrelevant but i do see as well something about a museum and that specific uh, um, sculpture that could be a confirmation of some sort um i do see besides that that it could be a symbolism as well for others of you that you have tried so hard and worked so hard for this that it seems right here that you're closer to the to the to the top everything that you ever wanted it's it's getting there finally here keep in mind that that heartbreak or that betrayer or whatever situation did not work for you at the moment it worked it did work for you because it did save you time from wasting with people that don't deserve your time of day and as well it saved your time from investing into situations that do not deserve your time or your investment so i do feel as well that things are getting better and will look better very very soon as well for you my love uh finally i'm going to give you a bird which is the oracle card here um let's see what message do we have here we got the pheasant right here and it tells me that the time is ripe for creation and connection focus your attention in these areas so this is the end of your reading i hope you liked it if you didn't oh well i'll try it in the upcoming <laughs> days uh, i want to also um encourage you to follow me outside of youtube i'm on tiktok i'm on instagram i'm on facebook spotify i offer um on spotify i offer uh, episodes in english and spanish of spiritual topics and anyways if you're interested in my personal reading i do offer them everything you need to know is going to be in the description box below as well as going to be the links for everything thank you so much and have an amazing day